The development of the U.S. Army's next infantry fighting vehicle, IFV, intended to replace the iconic Bradley, has taken a major step forward. American Rain Metal and General Dynamics Land Systems, GDLS, have both successfully completed preliminary design reviews for their proposed vehicles in the XM-30 program, signaling significant progress in the race to deliver the future of armored warfare. This milestone was recently confirmed by Major General Glenn Dean, Program Executive Officer for Ground Combat Systems, at the annual U.S. Army Association Conference. In June 2023, after a highly competitive selection process, GDLS and American Rain Metal emerged as the leading contenders from a field of five companies. Point Blank Enterprises, Oshkosh Defense, and BA Systems were eliminated, leaving the two defense giants to advance into the detailed design phase. Both teams are now focused on creating a cutting-edge armored vehicle that will feature a remotely operated 50mm cannon, anti-tank missile capabilities, state-of-the-art active protection systems, and an advanced suite of sensors. The U.S. Army plans to replace around 3,800 Bradley vehicles, which have been in service since the 1980s, through the optionally manned fighting vehicle, OMFV program. The XM-30 vehicles will be hybrid-powered, offering enhanced lethality, improved protection, and advanced sensor systems. Additionally, the new IFVs are expected to reduce crew size, improve operational versatility, and adapt to the Army's evolving battlefield needs. One of the key design features of the XM-30 is its hybrid electric drive system, which is expected to increase fuel efficiency and reduce the vehicle's environmental footprint. The vehicle will be operated by a two-person crew, with space for up to six infantrymen. The XM-30 will also incorporate a remote-controlled turret equipped with a 50mm cannon, with the potential for a 30mm version upgrade. The vehicle's advanced self-protection features, coupled with a robust digital architecture, will ensure that it can meet the challenges of modern warfare. The contracts awarded for the detailed design phase of the XM-30 program total approximately $1.6 billion. By the program's conclusion, it is expected to cost around $45 billion. However, Major General Dean hinted that the development may progress faster than initially planned, with the first prototypes potentially arriving 18 to 20 months after final design approvals. The Army expects to finalize the design selection for the XM-30 by fiscal year 2027, with full service entry planned two years later, in 2029. The use of advanced digital tools throughout the design phase has accelerated the process significantly, allowing the Army to provide rapid feedback and make necessary adjustments based on soldier input. The importance of soldier feedback cannot be overstated in this project. Colonel Kevin Bradley, head of combat vehicle modernization, emphasized how both virtual and physical tests have been integral in refining the vehicle designs. Input from soldiers on the ground has led to crucial modifications, ranging from interface adjustments to significant structural changes, to ensure the final design meets operational demands. American Rain Metal has assembled a formidable team that includes Textron Systems, RTX, L3 Harris Technologies, and Endural Technologies. Meanwhile, GDLS is collaborating with GM Defense, Applied Intuition, an aerovironment, which will integrate its switchblade loitering munitions into the vehicle. GDLS is also working closely with General Dynamics Mission Systems to implement advanced networking, radio, and cyber capabilities. The competition between American Rain Metal and GDLS for the XM-30 program represents more than just the development of a new combat vehicle. It is a technological arms race that will shape the future of U.S. armored warfare. Both companies are pushing the boundaries of innovation responding to the Army's evolving needs for more versatile, lethal, and survivable vehicles. As the XM-30 program moves forward, it promises to set new standards for military technology and change how the Army operates on future battlefields. By fiscal year 2027, the U.S. Army will make its final decision on which design will replace the Bradley, marking the next chapter in the modernization of its ground combat systems. With digital tools streamlining development and soldier feedback guiding key adjustments, the XM-30 program is not only a quest for technological superiority, but also a profound example of how modern warfare is driven by rapid innovation and adaptation.